In this video, you will learn about the basics of the ARCHICAD interface. The first screen you'll see whenever you have ARCHICAD installed and launch the application is the startup dialog. In here, you can decide if you want to open a new project, browse an existing one or join a teamwork project. When you open a new one, the next step you need to select the ARCHICAD template file and the work environment profile. ARCHICAD comes with default templates and work environment, so you don't have to worry about those at the beginning. Let's go back and browse for the sample project. When you open an ARCHID file, also known as PLA format, you are prompted to select the library usage. In this case, it's perfectly fine to read these library elements directly from the file, more about that in another section. The interface consists of a standard toolbar, the info bar, the toolbox, the integrated quick options bar, status bar, navigator and mini navigator, tab bar system, and the show windows overview. Let's see these in a bit more detail. This is the standard toolbar, which contains essential commands such as undo and redo, the idropper and syringe, guides, view options and some more editing tools. You can add additional toolbars by activating them from the menu and you can dock them wherever you like, so you can customize the interface for your own needs. ARCHICAD will remember the changes you make to the interface elements the next time you start the program and you can also save these changes to your work environment to carry those with you for later use. The toolbox on the left side contains all the tools you need to create the architectural project. These are grouped into categories such as selection tools, design tools for modeling, viewpoint tools for creating viewpoints such as sections and elevations, and documentation tools for annotation. The categories can be collapsed and expanded and you can stretch the toolbox itself if you prefer a different arrangement. The info box contains a summary of the currently active tool and you can scroll through it to expand other values that are available for the tool. You can access the tool settings from here by clicking on its icon. You can also bring up the tool settings by double clicking on it in the toolbox. Within the tool settings, you can see a preview of the element that you are about to place or modify, and all the different settings are here. You can change the geometry and the properties of the element. The integrated quick options bar contains settings for the active view that you have on screen, and you can access those settings via the icons next to them. You can control the zoom levels and set orientation of the displayed view change scales, layer combinations, access the layer and pen settings. There are additional filters you can apply to the active view, such as partial structural display, model view options, graphic overrides and renovation filters. In case you are working on a smaller screen and the quick options bar doesn't fit, you can turn on the quick options palette which will have the exact same options listed under the navigator by default. On the right hand side, you'll find the navigator. The navigator is a tree structure that lets you build up the entire logical structure of your project and navigate within it. It consists of the project map, view map, layout book and publisher sets. The navigator is designed to follow the BIM workflow and is a key element to understand how you can use ARCHICAD to its full potential. Don't worry, it's really convenient and will show you how it works at the relevant part of your learning journey. The navigator can be turned off by right-clicking and deactivating, clicking on the navigator icon and hiding, or from the window menu by switching the navigator palette. Whenever it's turned off, like in case of a presentation, you can use the mini navigator here that will disappear once you've selected a certain view. The tab bar system allows you to move between different active views. 
When you right-click on these tabs, you can access the related views and transfer settings by picking up and injecting certain view settings into others. You can also access the settings of the related view type, for example, the section settings. If you want to get a preview of all of the available tabs that are open in your project, you can use the Show Windows Overview. This has been a quick overview of the ARCHICAD interface.